Mm-hmm. Is anybody else up at 12 o'clock at night? Rise up. Yes. This is for those of us late night people cooking a keto meal at midnight. Mm-hmm. Spirit. Watch the heavens open. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How was this keto? Hear it coming. Yes. Well, let's talk. This is keto. And it's intermittent fasting depending on the time that you wake up in the morning. Now, I went to bed at 6 a.m. Don't ask why. So, I really haven't had a meal today and I'm not going to bed until probably another 6 (laughs) a.m. Rise up. So, I rose up. Sky up. And I decided to make me a keto meal at 12 midnight because I've been fasting for three days. Hey. Watch the heavens open. Hey, cousin. Hey. How's it going out there in Vegas? How you doing, boo? Can you hear it calling? Hey, other cousin. You up to? I'm up to making this keto meal at 12 midnight. Stand up close. Stand up and fight. I'm good. That's good. I'm glad you're good. How's the family out there? That's your baby. Your boy's becoming a man soon. Spirit, watch the heavens open. So, this right here basically is keto because there are basically no carbs. Mm Mm-hmm. Can you hear it calling? There's no carbs in this pretty much. And if I decide to make the taco shells out of the um, cheese which I could Um, I probably will not sure we'll see what I feel like doing right now but I just wanted to come on and show people that this is still intermittent fasting and it's still keto even at this time of night in California And you do what you got to do to stay sane and to stay healthy. So if you're a late night person and you have late working hours and you get off late, girl, I, I know, I hope you are. Are you working? I know you're working. I know you're trying to stay cautious. That, that fears me with people that are still out there working. So I'm praying for you, you and the fam, that you guys stay safe out there. Oh, how would you fry the cheese in the shell? Okay, hold on. Let me get that for you. I'm going to show you. Just a second. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Cheese in the shell. I'm just using this as an example, right? So this isn't clean. Well, you know how it's been in the pot for a, mo- a moment. Hold on. Just a second. I can't find my muffin pan. I just reorganized the kitchen. 
So, with that being said, I'm going to act like this is a muffin pan. And I could still use it. I'm wiping this one down. Rinsing it real quick. I'm wiping it down. So, hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, if I was to do this, you would have a muffin pan. I might, I just might could use this anyway. So, I'm going to sit this pan right on top of here, basically. You can use a muffin pan, a regular muffin pan. Um, or, hey, Naco. Um, you can use a muffin pan to make the cheese, uh, the cheese, hold on, but I can't find my muffin pan, so I'm going to use my little bread pan just to show you for an example, um, I don't want to make too much noise, so you would take, you can layer cheese, or you would really use like flat cheese, that would be the easiest kind. But you could use this too. And then you would measure it if you wanted to. And so basically you would take the cheese. Uh -uh. We don't want to see my hair. Hold on. What's up with that? Okay. Let's go back. I'm taking down my braids. So if anybody saw that, that's what you see at midnight. Taking down braids. Okay. And the results of that. So no shame in my game. So, if this was cheese, I would basically flatten it and make it up into like a shell, right? And then you would stick it in the oven. I'm going to try and find it. I have some pictures. This is not going to be the result. But I have some pictures of my other one. So, I'm not even going to try to make it in here because it's not going to come out right. What I'll do is I'll post the pictures of what I made before. So, you can see the cheese shells. But basically, you would take the piece of cheese. And you would lay it over the muffin pan. This is too deep. And then you would um, put it in the oven for about uh, 10 minutes. But before you do that, you have to do something in the, in the pan first with the cheese. Oh, no. Okay, so that's what it is. I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I made it. Okay, so you have to layer, lay it in the pan first. That's what you do. Ooh, okay, now. You know how I be. I be on one. Okay, that's what we're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. Okay, this is what you do. That's right. Alright, so you're going to put the cheese down, right? And you're going to make little spreads like that. Like a woman like me, like a woman like me, woman like me, like a woman like me. And then say, uh, it's just me, so I'm going to make a few. And you're going to let it cook in the oven. I should have had the oven on if I really make it. Mm-mm-mm-mm, more baby, uh. All right. So I'm going to put the oven on for 350. And then put it in the oven. And what you'll do is, I'll do a full post later. But when it's flat, it's going to come out really flat. You put it in the oven for like 10 minutes or a few minutes. I don't want to give you the exact deets right now because I'm going off of my brain and not looking at my recipe. Um, but you can find it online too. I'll, I'll post one. I'll send it to you. And then you flatten it. And then it's going to, you don't even have to flatten it. It's going to melt into like a flat, like taco shell, right? And then once it flattens into the taco shell, okay? So I'm going to put it in the oven, even though my oven is not ready. It's not warmed up. I'm just going to get it in there and get it started just in case somebody's still watching. And so when you finish that part, you'll take it and then you'll layer it into this shell like this. Once it um, flattens in there, let me turn on the light, and then you'll layer it into there, and then put that in the oven, and let that 
fit if you choose to or just let it really fit you don't even have to let it sit in the oven actually you can just because it'll be cooked so you can just lay it there and layer it there and leave it there and let it um, dry like a shell right and then once you're done with that then you can start putting all of your ingredients for your taco inside of it so and then there's your uh your taco now it can get depending on what you put you have to be careful how you layer it because it can get soggy so i don't put the salsa in it you know right away i put it as i eat so that it doesn't sit there and do it because it's not really a shell you know what i mean it's not a um it's not a real taco shell so it is you know going to have some oil in it uh so you're going to have to make sure that you don't your meat is not too greasy um, when you put it in there and I don't cook with uh, grease and oil so that's not an issue um, but um, you want to make sure that it's not like that so I'm hoping that it is ready if somebody's still watching if not I'm still trying to film it to see if it comes out because my meat is already done I'm gonna cut up the avocado um, I wasn't really filming right, but I'm going to cut up the uh, uh, avocado and then put that on top too. But I'm not going to show all of that because we all know how to do that. Basically, what I'm just going to show is the shells. I'm body up. i body The body up. Hey get to all for this yeah so the chili smart and final diced chili looking at the carbs one gram mm -mm 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 -mm. 10 calories I don't really look at that this is the kind of stuff I teach you when you're in the challenge hey I almost, I almost lost it. I had to reach back, back and lock it, lock it up. I almost, I had to reach back, back and lock it, lock it up. I almost, this COVID is trying to get everybody, trying to get us in the head, in the mind. Mm. I almost, I almost, you almost, I got it. And there we go. Hey, hey, Miss Chavez, I'm up. Mm -mm -mm. I'm making the keto meal. And somebody wanted to see how I did the tacos. And this is the kind of stuff I show when uh, people join the challenge. Or they join the Cultivate Thyself group. And so I was trying to show my cousin who was watching what to do. She asked me about the shells because I was really just up. Because I've been up for a while. I almost. I had to reach back. So I'm making tacos, right? And so the meat is pretty much done. And the shells are almost done. And she wanted to know what shells I was making with the cheese. So I was trying to show her that. And I don't really use this kind of cheese. But this is what they had at the store. Um, but you could still... I love Mexican food. So I know Mexican food, original Mexican food is not cheese and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the shells is what I'm using the cheese for. And then I don't have to sprinkle the cheese. And so that is how you eat keto uh and still eat and be healthy during this time this meat can be used for more than just tacos it could be used for uh, some other items as well i can make a taco salad out of it uh, depending on how much you have how many people you have in your family i'm single uh me and my daughter so this can last us for a couple of days um when she's home um but she's not and when she's not home, I could, I could do this as well. So, 
that's it. I just wanted to come on and show how even this is intermittent fasting and how you can still lose weight and still uh, eat late night. But if people work late night, this is really who this is for. Those people who get off late night early in the morning and um, this could be their their dinner and this is like dinner time for them at 12 o'clock at night. You don't want to eat heavy at 12 o'clock at night. You don't want to eat carby. Okay? You don't want to do that. So, you want to make sure that you are um, eating something that uh, won't be too much on your body because you're still going to go to bed. And sometimes you go to bed, uh, depending on if you work graveyard or late night or swing shifts, um, you don't want to go to bed right away. You still want to stay up for a few hours before you go to bed because those are your hours. So, I get that. I used to work good times. Yes, it's going to be good times. Um, there are going to be good times again, everybody. We're going to go out and have fun again, guys. We're going to have fun with each other. You guys got to stay positive about that, all right? Um, so those graveyard people, this is for you. Those swing shift people. I used to work 11 to 7. I used to get off at 11 o'clock at night. So this would be dinner time for me, but back in the day, I would not eat the right things um, before I went to bed, and I would go straight to bed. So um, this is for you to know that this is something different if you're trying to lose weight or you're a diabetic. Um, be careful with the cheese, I know, and I am have to be careful with the cheese. So this is not a meal that I eat on a regular. I haven't eaten in a few days. I've been on a fast. So I might eat one or two with cheese, and then the rest might be um, in a salad, most for real. I really just did the shells to show my cousin. I might not have it right because I can't find my muffin pan, so this is not the right pan to use for that. I'm just doing this to show. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's ready. Shoot. Okay, stop. Hold on. So they're ready. And I just got to get them out quick. Whew. All right. All right. Basically. All right, cousin, that's for you. You might have went to bed, boo. But this is for you. I had to turn on the... Um, at the fan okay so that's going to cool but you don't want it to cool right there too long okay you really don't you don't you want to get your spatula I was not prepared I did not maze on place y'all so forgive me this was an impromptu meal I was just up taking down my braids and I haven't eaten. I've been fasting. So we're going to try and just like work with this. You have to deal with me singing. Okay, so you're gonna take that and pull that up, right? You got it, girl, you got it. You got it. You got it. Ah, I'm trying to do it right. And holding the phone at the same time. So forgive me. So that's basically what you're doing with that to make a little shell, but it would be in a muffin pan, okay? Hey, I don't want to really play no game. Let's see. My last name. I may not have let it cool long enough. You got it, girl. Hey. You got it. Trying to 
on up. Lay no and yes, you can still lose weight eating like this, y'all. I lost 225. Hey. But I don't eat like this part with this cheese like this all the time. I'm just showing this how you can make a meal. Keto. Taco shell. I would not normally use a pan. Once again, I would use a um, muffin pan. But for the purposes of an impromptu to show my cousin who was on a little while ago how to make them because she asked and I had tried to do it like this. And then I was like, oh no, let me remember because I hadn't made this in so long. So since I hadn't made it in a while, I remembered, oh, get the pan out, do it that way. It should have been more of a shallow pan, like a um, cooking sheet. But I didn't want to make too much noise trying to find everything right now. Um, I just redid my kitchen so I can't remember where everything is because it's not in the other place that it used to be. So this is going to cool and basically these are your shells. This is keto. So if you're somebody who wants to try keto, who wants to join the challenge, um, if you're somebody who wants to just learn more about healthy eating and if you're diabetic, you're somebody on anti-inflammatory, um, this is not the only thing that I show when I'm doing my channel, but, uh, we will restart the challenge soon. And for those of you that have joined already, you already know what's up. Follow me on Cultivate Thyself. Join the Cultivate Thyself group to get more types of, uh, recipes and keto recipes and things that you can do. I won't always come on at midnight. I just woke up at, I mean, I didn't go to bed till 6, 7 a.m. So, um, for me, these are working hours. Uh, this is dinner time and I'm not going to bed probably till 6 a.m. because I'm on, in a creative zone right now. And when I get that way, um, I get that way and I don't have to, um, eat. So my hours are off right now. So for me, this is on. And if you are a graveyard person, this is why I came on, graveyard, um, uh, swing shift people that come home at night time and need a meal to cook remember this is not the way to do it I showed you how to do it before this was what I was starting to do just to get ready to show my cousin but it didn't it dawned on me that I was doing it wrong and so the educator in me had to go and do it all the way uh, so you know if this is what I do just because she asked me one question <laughs> as to how you make it imagine what I do with my students Hey, or with you if I'm coaching you this is what you get when I'm coaching you if you get private one-on-one -on -one. at midnight we'll get up and we'll make stuff like this hey so for those of you who were watching thank you for listening to me sing and cook this keto baby so oh before I go just to show you. Skank and sweet. Hey. Ari. With me. Skank and sweet. Alright. So I'm going to show you. Just to show you. How you would do that. You would put your meat in there. Right. This one's not cool all the way, but just to show you that that's what it's going to be like, a taco. Now, I always let it, uh, once it forms and it hardens and it cools the way it's supposed to, then I always let it uh, drain on paper towel to get the extra excess uh, grease off. So... Just to let you know that that's what happens. This isn't a deep shell, but what happens is it forms into a shell. Okay? So the next time we join, the next time we do this, uh, I'll show you the finished product and the finished result. But this is the process that you go through. It's not even that hard. Not that simple. Uh, you, then you put your avocado, you put your toppings on it. But make sure that you get the excess off because it could be, you know, the oil and the grease and the fat. Although that's part of keto is the fat. Um, for me, because I don't have a gallbladder, I can't process all of that. So I always get the extra. 
So it's all about you and your dietary needs. Everybody doesn't do everything one way. We are all differentiated learning styles, just like in the classroom, right? So um, that's what the group is for. Hey there. Hey, LaJoyce. Um, thanks for joining. I'm just getting ready to leave, but rewatch the video. I just came on. I don't know what time it is out there in Texas, but um, for me, it's midnight, and I was coming on for graveyard people and people that work late and how they can eat healthy and keto, but uh, without um, sacrificing their health eating late at night. I've been fasting uh, for the past couple of days. I haven't been up so my hours are off so right now this is my dinner time and this is something that I'm making for dinner um, I'm going to be up for the next few hours probably till 6 a.m. 7 a.m. anyway so and I won't eat again until after that um, so just came on to show people what you can do and how to make a keto meal uh, whether it's midnight or not it's still a keto meal and um, I'll show you the finished results and post the finished results later on have a good one, enjoy yourself, and stay safe out there, everybody. Time to get down.